First elimination for the Pepsi North America Cup is in motion. With on the attack off stride. And they're off and pacing. On the attack is on an extended break, leaving the gate. Better's Delight crosses right on over to take the lead, and it's wide open now. Keen Mind is off stride on the inside. Klingon Hanover is leaving. Cardmaster Hanover far outside, and Exporter leaves to the inside into the top four. That's Come On Morgan back in fifth position. Then Dancer's Legacy and Sea Dog Man. Keen Mind made a break. On the attack is still on a break and has taken himself out of it early. The opening quarter with... Klingon Hanover crossing over to hit the front and still moving up on the outside is Cardmaster Hanover. Better's Delight attending from third. 27 seconds they made the opener. Cardmaster Hanover drives to the front. Better's Delight Lachance drives this one out from third. He's up for the retake on the way to the half and Klingon Hanover sits back in third position. That's exporter by another length and quarter sitting in from fourth. Come on Morgan is fifth in line and it's back to Dancer's Legacy and Sea Dog Man and the distance trailers are on the attack and Keen Mind is out of contention. Better's Delight relaxing on the lead after a half in 55 and 4. That's Better's Delight three-eighths of the mile to go but Lachance is still giving him right-handed reminders moving on to the final turn and ranging up first over is Exporter to chase to three quarters with Cardmaster Hanover on the inside from third. Come on Morgan spots a second over fourth. Klingon Hanover looks trapped in. Dan Dubé flat in the bike in a five hole and it's back to Dancer's Legacy and C Dog Man out of contention on the attack and Keen Mind 125 and 1 three quarter time. Better's Delight barely breaking a sweat off these fractions and he's driving away now in the first 2001 Pepsi North America Cup elimination. That's Better's Delight. Klingon Hanover shakes loose on the outside. Better's Delight is home under wraps two and a half lengths. Klingon Hanover second. Cardmaster Hanover third. Sea Dog Man was fourth. Better's Delight 152. Two and one. Better's delight. The presentation in the winner's circle made by Mr. Hugh Mitchell, Senior Vice President of Racing for Woodbine Entertainment on the Woodbine and Mohawk Circuit. Because of the entry 1 and 1A, one the fourth race triactor comes back 5, 1, and 8. 5, 1, 8 is the winning combination of the fourth race triactor. Him in good shape for next week's final. Uh, definitely. Uh, it was like uh, easier than I thought it was going to be because uh, that was the toughest division to me. And, uh, you know, I didn't expect that uh, I was going to have to give him an easy trip like that. Yeah, when John made a break, that I changed the whole race there. But uh, it was fortunate for me. Now, uh, the Barry's Creek, he was so strong. He comes back here again tonight. So, it, it's, he, I mean, Mike, the, the way he raced tonight and the rest he's had, this horse right now is still in peak form for next week's final. Coming down the stretch here, you just chirp that and he opens up and wins by about, about three or four lengths. Uh, he's, you can't ask for better uh, the way he is right now. But, you know, it's so tough to keep those called uh, sharp uh, mm -hmm. uh, every week there, like you know, one day race on, uh, on that, with that caliber of horses there. But uh, right now he's a, he's a colt that... Uh, he takes care of himself. He's got a, the best gait you can have on a horse, and he don't know where the end of the mile is. He's got a great attitude. He's got like a, everything to be like a top top horse. So, with those ingredients, Mike, he may be your third North America Cup winner. Congratulations on the win here tonight. Yeah, thank you, Mike Lachance, the winning driver aboard Better's Light, who does it easy here tonight. Let's look at the changes in the upcoming fifth race.